You know, 1030 is a hobby and lifestyle that's been highlighted on shows like My Strange Addiction and is on countless YouTube channels. Well, uh, some call it odd or even creepy. One Charlotte woman says that her reborn dolls have significantly helped her with her mental health. Fox 46's Annie Zatowski introduces us to her and explains why objects can ground us when we need it. On any given day, you'll find Nicole Harris taking a walk in her Charlotte neighborhood. I used to walk 10 miles a day. She says it gives her peace. Yes. But it's not just the strolling. Uh, it's more about what's fine. in the stroller. I've done some singing to them before. Four dolls so lifelike, if you're not paying attention, you'd mistake them for human babies. Usually people just think they're real right off the bat. So they'll just say, oh, what a cute baby or how old is your baby? Nicole is part of the growing reborn doll community. Search social media and you'll be scrolling for a while. They're made of silicone, so not only do they look real, they feel real, they move like they're real. Even down to the tiniest detail. He's even got a little baby scratch right there, like he scratched his little face. To be clear, Nicole is fully aware of what they are and what they aren't. I know they're not real babies. But some reborn enthusiasts get really into it. They, you know, will, will feed them, change their diapers all day, get them in a few different outfits, fix them meals. Like, it's, it, can be, it can be a whole um, lifestyle. Those reborn moms have dedicated YouTube channels for their routines. It's where Nicole realized these dolls might be exactly what she needed. There was a woman who had a lot of anxiety and she had the reborn dolls and she said that it just changed her life for the better. And I decided, well, I'm going to give that a try. What else have I got to lose? Nicole was diagnosed with schizophrenia just last year, but has struggled with her mental health ever since she can remember. Growing up, I had a lot of depression, anxiety, I was very fearful. My brain was always so busy thinking about uh, something from a year ago to in the moment to five years from now. The dolls bring almost instant relief. If I'm in a state of um, kind of delusions, things like that, where I don't, I can't physically pull myself back in, all I have to do is go to my dolls and hold them, pick them up. So like this is usually how I like to have her very, very close in and snuggled tight. It's like the world stops spinning, stops being heavy, just lightens up. It's a coping mechanism Sharice Johnson, a licensed clinical mental health counselor, says most of us use, we just don't know it. Come home from a long day, feel super stressed out, change your clothes, put on something warm and fuzzy that's going to be soft towards the skin, and then you're going to sit down and you're going to pull a blanket over you. It's all about physical touch, causing a chemical reaction in your brain. So they create what's called oxytocin. We call it kind of like a love hormone that literally is stimulated when there's any kind of touch. So most of us get that from our family. We get that from hugs or people that we love. For some, it might be a pillow or a weighted blanket. For Nicole, it's her dolls, even if people don't quite understand. Do you worry about what people think? I used to. And then my life was a lot more miserable and I wasn't enjoying myself anymore. What does bring her joy is sharing her dolls on TikTok. It has been brought to my attention that I offended some of you. I'm truly sorry. I meant to offend all of you. In fact, this video went viral not too long ago, netting 1 million views. It's become Nicole's outlet to share her mental health journey. So far, there's been a handful of haters. You're too old to play with dolls. Um, grow up. You know, they know nothing about me. They don't even know that I have a disorder or schizophrenia. They're just judging my behaviors. Johnson agrees. A lot of times we fear and judge what we don't understand. So one of the best things that we can do is just to be compassionate. And if somebody is finding a way to cope, that's healthy and adaptive for them than just giving them the latitude to do whatever works. And while reborn dolls aren't always cost friendly, a nice starter doll would probably be about $100. If you want to get more realistic, um, you're going to see yourself getting into uh, probably $500, $600, all the way up to $5,000. Nicole says what they've given her 
is priceless. We are all just people. There's no normal. The normal, when it gets thrown in there, just messes everything up. Annie Satowski, Fox 46. And I want to thank Annie Satowski for shining a spotlight on such an important subject there.